how to deal with negative people in a positive way using your body language, especially facial expressions. That's what I'm going to discuss in this video. Firstly, I'm going to take you behind the scenes in the mind of a negative person. Then I'm going to talk about the statements that you can use to diffuse certain situations. And finally, I'm going to talk about certain facial expressions that you can use to diffuse these situations. So clearly there's a lot that's going to happen in this video. You need to watch it till the end. My name is Shreya. Welcome to Shreya TV. I'm an image consultant, a mental wellness counselor and now a YouTuber sharing my experiences of how to be truly presentable with the right presence and the right confidence so that you get the success you deserve. First of all, it's important to understand that a negative person is different from a toxic person and while all a toxic people are negative, not all negative people are toxic. In fact, psychologists and professors like Carrie Barron and so many others have gone inside the minds of negative people. And one thing that has always been established is that a negative person is a little vulnerable. We'll get to that in a bit. It's really important for you and I to realize that a, ne a negative person is somewhere internally troubled, which is why that negativity sometimes comes out on us and sometimes this person is harmful to himself or herself as well. So they don't only trouble others, but they also trouble themselves. And that's an important point to note. This point might help you become a little empathetic with them. And no, we are not trying to get in their good books. We are not trying to really please these people. We're just trying to understand a, a negative person's mind with a closed lens. So then clearly the question should be, where does all the negativity come from inside the mind of a negative person? Well, negativity is unchannelized vulnerability. In simple terms, a negative person mostly operates out of some sort of fear. Some sort of fear? Fear has lots of names, it has lots of faces, and which is why it is important to know that people are not mostly born negative. Situations can also make them negative. So let's see how typically fear manifests itself. Sometimes fear uh, comes out in the form of anger and if you increase the intensity, it becomes rage. Some other times fear comes out of sarcasm, spite or rudeness. Fear also manifests itself in the garb of judgment and labeling. So if you know somebody who judges you a lot, that person somewhere down is fearful. And strangely and also paradoxically, fear also manifests itself in the form of passion. Passion? Really? Yes, I don't really want to digress the point and I would love to make a video on that sometime later. But for now, let's come back and talk about how to deal with these negative people. So the most ideal thing to really do when you're dealing with a negative person is to diffuse the situation so that you can salvage the moment. However, there are two disclaimers that I want to give right away. When you're trying to diffuse a situation by dealing with a negative person, in no way are you going to or trying to counsel the person or provide any sort of therapy to that person. And secondly, you must not have any sort of expectations from this person to convert from a negative to a positive person. If these two are set straight, then let's move on. So let's discuss three kinds of negative people and how can you deal with them. The first kind of a negative person can be an angry person, a raged person or somebody who's just infuriated by something that you've done or a situation has caused. Typically, a negative person is going to look at you like this, with a frown and piercing in your eyes. Sometimes a negative person is going to scan you and then they're going to purse their lips and then they're also going to inflate their nostrils sometimes. And sometimes it could be all three. So the first thing you really want to do is diffuse the situation by giving them a counter facial expression. The best way to diffuse any situation is by giving it the opposite energy to what it has. So when an angry face is like this, the counter face to an angry person would be an assertive face, something like this. You're not smiling, you're just alert, you are showing your confidence in the moment, you're also showing that you're holding yourself up because if you give away any sort of an emotion, especially of intimidation, of fear or further aggression, you are far away from diffusing the situation and you're making this person further angry and you are spoiling your own uh, image that you're wanting to create. I've actually made a, a video sometime back on assertive face. If you haven't checked that out, I really encourage you to watch that video. You're going to learn a lot about facial expressions in there. So once again, make an assertive face and say two things to that person. First, 
lower down your volume. A lot of times an angry person is by default on a higher decibel. So you really want this person to lower the volume. That is not something that they are expecting to hear. What they're expecting is you to get into the argument with them and further, you know, instigate them or challenge their motivation, whatever. But what you really want to first do is go on the physical parameters. So one way of doing that is lower your volume. The second way is, wow, you look really angry. So show the mirror to the person. Sometimes people don't really realize their own facial expressions and their body language and the heat that is generating uh, through their emotions. So if you give them a mirror and a checkpoint, a lot of times people just tone down a little bit. Maybe not as much as you want, but a little bit and that helps. The other thing you could do with this angry person is say, can you be really specific about what makes you so angry with me? A lot of times uh, there's a mountain of anger caused by a lot of ancillary things as well. You want to cut down all the clutter and get to the point, be as focused with this person as possible. So push them uh, through a funnel and make them as objective in their anger as possible. That way it's going to be easier to deal with this angry person. Thirdly, if this person does not budge at all, all you want to say is, I'm going to walk out and we'll talk again when you are sober. That's it. That's all you need to do with this angry person. The second negative person could be somebody who is jealous and sarcastic or just pure rude with us. The minute they see us, they want to poke fun at us. They want to joke about us. They just want us to be the butt of uh, group jokes or uh, in social events. All that they want to do is uh, lower our self-esteem and confidence. So there's a lot of contempt inside this person and a typical face that this person could make to you as soon as they see you could be something like this one eyebrow raised or they could have one corner of the lip slightly up like this as you can see one corner of my lip is going slightly up or they could do just both in some way or the other, through their uh, conversation with you, you could see them doing either of these or they will scan you top to bottom. And in a very piercing way, not in a nice way at all. And you can see that through their eyes. So one thing to understand is that this face is an asymmetrical face. One eyebrow up, the other eyebrow down. One corner of the lip up, the other corner of the lip down. So this person is just so showing some sort of asymmetry to you. It's not really happy with you and this person is in a way mean to you. So that you will see it through the asymmetry of the face. Also in their statements, they would always in some way use a sarcastic statement or mean statement. Ah, oh, you think you're really smart. You think you can do this. Oh, here he comes again. God, what, do you, what makes you think that you could do this? So they're always poking fun around us, trying to put us down. So a couple of ways that you can deal with this person through the face is by showing them some sort of symmetry through your face. Because this person is asymmetrical, you want to be symmetrical in your face. So one thing to do is smile. Partially, we don't want like a full zygomatic smile. We don't want to do that. That's not required here. But just a simple, pleasant smile eyes which are wide open and alert, really looking into this person as if you mean business, you really want to deal with this person. So something like this, when you deal with a sarcastic person. By the way, there's a phenomena, very interesting phenomena called mirror neurons. I should make a video on that as well, which uh, essentially means that, you know, people can replicate our emotions when they see them, especially through our body language. So when you show this person some symmetry, maybe in their psyche that symmetry would be replicated and in a way they could be forced to come back and show some symmetry through their face. The other thing you want to say to this really sarcastic person is start with that's interesting. Whatever this person says to you, let's say they say, you think you're really smart? All you want to say is, that's interesting. I genuinely do think I'm smart. What makes you say otherwise? So you wanting to put the ball back in their court, you are wanting this person to get more elaborate, more subjective and chances are negative people really, you know, deep inside, they are not really bad people. They are not menacing by nature. All they want to do is just fiddle with the moment and juggle it up here and there. And when they go back and realize maybe they don't really like what they did, but that's just it. They are just going with the flow. They are letting their emotions pass and release like a child. So the third category of negative people in your life could be someone who is severely critical, uh, interjects you a lot, judges you almost all the time and counters every point that you put across. In short, this person is a fault finder in your life. 
a typical face that this person makes is like they're always doubting your intentions whatever you do really so that's the kind of face they make so to break this person from that face you want to give a diffusing facial expression that would be an eyebrow flash with a little smile like you are curious so you are converting their negative curiosity to positive curiosity through this face because technically this is a surprise face so it could uh, pass on as a curious face and the statement you want to say to this person is pretty much the similar strategy like we applied in the second category we're using the same we are starting with that's interesting because it just builds your curiosity and you're trying to extract more specifics out of this person but here what you also want to say to this person is that's interesting do you have a solution for me so you're breaking the chain of this person because all they believe in is circumlocuting hovering around the problem you want to break that chain of hovering around the problem and get them to the solution if they genuinely mean good to you they are going to share a solution with you but if you don't hear a solution from them chances are this person is just doing this to put you down and you want to break cut from this person as soon as possible all right then here were my ways of helping you deal with negative people more positively also using your facial expressions it's your time now let me know in the comments how did you find this video what were the most helpful points for you in this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i want you to hit the subscribe button right now and please press the bell icon so that next time i upload a video you get a notification also if you've liked this video please show that to me hit the thumbs up like button and share it with as many people as you think should watch content like this thank you so much for watching take care